Hello, my name is Connie Liu. I'm an undergraduate at MIT, and today we're going to be doing a little extra material on phylogenetic and Linnaean classification. So today we're actually going to be comparing phylogenetic and Linnaean classification and the similarities and differences between them. So obviously they're both classification systems. Um, we're going to first focus on the similarities between them. There aren't that many, but they are very important to determine um, how they both function within the scientific world in order to help scientists communicate. So they are both classification systems, and they both are able to facilitate communication. However, they facilitate communication in very different ways. For Linnaean classification, it's in Latin. So because Latin is such an outdated language, um, it kind of creates a happy medium or a nice compromise between which language to be using of all of the ones in order to help scientists communicate with each other. So we didn't want to preference any language that people already speak, such as English. Um, so they chose Latin. So then if I wanted to talk to somebody in China about leopards, then I could just use the Latin name for leopards in order to um, be able to communicate about that. And that would I would talk about Panthera partis instead of leopard in order to effectively communicate. In contrast, for phylogenetic classification, there is no language specification. You can um, use the trees that are used um, in order to depict phylogenetic classifications to fill it in with pictures, or you can use um, the Latin names as well, or you can use the English or whatever other language names. So there's less specification within phylogenetic um, classifications. Phylogenetic classifications are able to show something that Linnaean ones are not able to, and that's common ancestors. Because it's formatted as a tree, it's able to, um, or that information is down here, it's organized in trees. It's able to show common ancestors. So if you have um, a bunch of species branching off, you know that this ancestor right here is the common one between them all. Now, um, in contrast, Linnaean classification only shows hierarchical classification. They organize all of this information into taxons, and then they're able to uh, give these species different names according to their genus and their species, um, but they're not able to show common ancestors as easily as phylogenetic classification can. Instead, they just show hierarchical classification by giving the whole domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species um, label for each species. And then in that case, they're also unable to show any indication of the times of evolution, whereas when you uh, look at the phylogenetic tree, it's able to show a time sequence. Obviously, this species at the beginning of the tree is going to be the ancestor of those that are coming after, whereas the Linnaean classification shows no sort of timeline or time sequence like that.